Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a washer. As you can see right here, I have my washer in front of me and I'm going to be going over some step-by-step -step instructions to show you how to use it. So let's get right to it. You're going to start off by lifting up the lid and as you can see that will expose the drum I'm just gonna place my camera down and the first step is to load the clothes into the washer now if your washer has an agitator in the middle which is just something sticking up from the middle then you should load the clothes around the agitator um, but this washer doesn't have one so I can pretty much just throw them in there just like that as you can see the clothes are in in the drum of the washer now the next step is to add the detergent and the fabric softener if you decide to use fabric softener um, now if your some washers require you to simply put the detergent right on the clothes or right just in the drum of the washer and the fabric softener sometimes goes in the agitator um, but for this washer right here um, it just there's a little tray that pulls out and then you can add your detergent and fabric softener now just a quick note if your washer requires he detergent then make sure you are using he detergent and this washer does require he detergent so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in to the tray um, and I don't use fabric softener so I'm just gonna be um, pouring the detergent into the tray and then closing the the tray right there then the next step is to close the lid just like that and then we are going to take a look at the options now the first option right here says soil level and this is basically the amount of clothing that is in the drum now you have to just take a look and, and use your judgment I'm gonna say that this is a heavy load um, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose heavy just like that um, so choose the appropriate soil level based on the, the amount of clothing that is in the drum. The next option is the wash temperature. Now you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want. I'm going to leave mine at warm because that is the temperature that I like to use. Um, I'm going to skip over this just for one second and go to the right side. Uh, this option is extra rinse. So this will um, will use an extra rinse. You can turn it on if you want. I like to leave it at off unless I'm doing um, a load of clothes that are extremely dirty. I just like to leave the extra rinse setting off. And then this is fabric softener. Now some washers have this option, some don't. Um, this basically allows me to turn on or off the fabric softener and because I am not using any fabric softener I have it set to off now I'm gonna go to the middle button right here now these are the options for the type of wash as you can see there are tons 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 of options and let's just quickly go over them so there is normal wrinkle control hand wash cold wash rinse and spin drain and spin clean washer soak power wash deep water wash and bulky sheets now you can choose whichever setting you would like to use I usually stick with the normal setting unless I'm doing something very very specific um, you know just for everyday laundry I just stick to the normal setting now the final step is to actually start the washer now this will vary depending on your actual unit um, you may have a knob that you push in or pull out um, with this specific washer I simply have to press this button just like that and as you can see, um, this light has illuminated. It says that it is sensing um, and it, it should start very, very shortly. It should start um, spinning and dispersing water. And all that you have to do once the washer has started its cycle is basically wait for it to finish. Just before you open the lid and start to remove the clothing, just please make sure that the washer has finished its cycle. But that's basically it. Um, it is a fairly simple process and in this tutorial I have shown you how to use a washer. And just as you can see right here it is spinning and it, the water has started to uh, has started to come out and make its way into the drum. And that's 
Just as I said, that's basically it. It's a fairly simple process. And in this video, I have provided you with step-by-step -step instructions to show you how to use a washer. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.